Hello guys, hope you are all okay. You are enjoying your life. You are watching my videos and again welcome back to ultrasound teaching videos with Dr. Arshad Nadeem Awan. Today my topic of discussion is endometrial polyp. Although I have uh, uploaded some of the videos related to endometrial polyp and some of the images has already been shown about the endometrial polyp but today I am going to particularly discuss about the endometrial polyp. Endometrial uh, polyps are actually benign abnormalities benign pathology seen in perimenopausal female and postmenopausal female uh, the problem related to the endometrial polyps is uh, bleeding during the menstrual cycle so therefore this is one of the uh, common complications of the polyp polyp happens to be multiple uh, in size although there uh, are there may be uh, degenerative changes but in few cases you will see degenerative changes within the polyps Polyps are happens to be round in shape. Sometimes they having a broad base. Uh, Sometimes it has a, a small stalk attached to the endometrial cavity, and it may uh, become long enough to make it protrude into the vaginal cavity and into the cervical canal. So therefore, be careful for all these findings. Uh, like you have to look for the stalk, and uh, which is not possible on the ultrasound imaging but if you instill fluid within the endometrial cavity through SHG so then you will be able to appreciate the star and it happens to be multiple usually ecogenic uh, polyps can be seen on the ultrasound imaging uh, its uh, ultrasonic uh, features are ecogenic very rarely you will see hypoequic fibroids uh, these are happens to be ecogenic as I mentioned that on the ultrasound imaging it happens to be ecogenic but still there are variable uh, presentations like in case of thickening of the endometrium you may suspect there may be some uh, polyp uh, activities going on. Uh, you can uh, well appreciate these polyps when the patient uh, endometrium is in proliferative phase because in proliferative phase the endometrium happens to be less ecogenic and uh, it will project ecogenic uh, polyps quite easily. Uh, there may be a broad base and it may be confused with any of the like you may appreciate that there is a focal thickening of the endometrium which actually uh, it would not be a focal thickening it would be uh, polyps. Uh, pay attention to all these uh, subtle changes. The one more important thing is SHG like when you instill the fluid within the endometrial cavity there is likely possibility that you may look for the stalk. There may be a stalk which will be hypervascular many a time if you put the Doppler signal on. And the, the another uh, worth noting point is during the curate, uh, this pliable stock, when the, you're, you're performing the procedure of curate, and uh, because of the pliable stock, it will move here and there and it will be missed on the curate and the curatage, the biopsy will appear normal in case of the normal biopsy and the patient still suspect and gives the feature and symptoms of the bleeding and the polyp you must go for the hysteroscopy because visualized area will show you the stock and will pick up the uh, polyps. So all these features how we will appreciate on the ultrasound imaging how it will look and how we can find the cystic degenerative changes if there is uh, within the polyp which are very rare. So all these informations are included in these next slides. So start watching these next slides and I am sure it will be easy for you to pick the uh, polyps on the ultrasound imaging. This slide is a 45 years old woman and a transvaginal scan performed. On this scan you can see slightly ecogenic polyp within the endometrium. So here you can appreciate within the endometrial cavity slightly ecogenic polyp can be seen. But if you do not concentrate on you might miss this polyp. Patient was in proliferative phase. As we mentioned earlier that it is quite easy to see polyps in um, proliferative phase while in secretory phase endometrial happens to be ecogenic already so you cannot easily distinguish between the uh, secretory phase endometrium and polyp uh, of the and um, polyp of the endometrium in that case here you can see that patient was in proliferative phase and slightly ecogenic polyp can be seen within the endometrial cavity. Endometrial cavity is not distorted. Myometrium of the uterus is quite clear. Surrounding margins of the uterus are fine. No other pathology can be seen in the myometrium or endometrium apart from the slightly ecogenic polyp. So 
make sure that you can put all these description on the ultrasound report mention the size mention that it is within the endometrial cavity there is no endometrial distortion seen and beside this always try to put doppler signals on it if there is any vascularity this will uh, this will show some suspicious uh, malignant potential so therefore always put the doppler signal on so this is a classical case of the endometrial polyp within secret within pro proliferative phase endometrium on transvaginal scan so now this image clearly explains the importance of Doppler ultrasound. Here you can see the same patient with a proliferative phase endometrium. In the center you can see slightly ecogenic polyp and this polyp shows vascularity on Doppler imaging. So it's mean that this is vascular polyp. So therefore it is important to mention that the patient endometrium is not distorted an ecogenic polyp can be seen within the endometrium cavity uh, which is vascular so this uh, should be on your report you must mention that the referral should be considered and cure it is advised cure it for the biopsy purpose to look for whether there is any malignant potential going on within the polyp normally polyp happens to be benign but in few cases if it is highly vascular and especially if patient give rise to uh, symptomatic or there some uh, or there is any other sign so therefore refer the patient to the gynae department and ask for further imaging or ask for curate or uh, biopsy to look for any malignant potential within the polyp this slide beautifully explains the existence of polyps uh, this is a uh, sono hysterography and uh, within that around the fluid you can see small polyp which is projecting within the endometrial cavity so sono hysterography is another procedure if you suspect there is some polyp or any pathology within the endometrial cavity which you can't appreciate on the trans abdominal scan and trans vaginal scan so it is better to do sono hysterography inject the saline in the endometrial cavity if there would have any polyp it would be uh, projected within the endometrial cavity you know the uh, fluid is always the medium uh, for the enhancement so therefore it will become easy for you mention on the report that the uterus always mention about the uterine outline about the myometrial structure and then mention that the endometrial cavity was distended with the saline fluid and on transvaginal scan a polyp a measuring give its measurement whatever the measurements are projecting within the endometrial cavity which is likely polyp so advise whatever or refer the case to the gynae department for further proper management so uh, this is a classical example of sono hysterography uh, polyp again this slide is sono hysterography and on sono hysterography you can see uh, this is a transverse image and it shows multiple ecogenic polyps well defined multiple ecogenic polyps are there two of these are round and polypied which are indicated by the large arrow while so far the small arrows are concerned these both arrows are indicating sessile polyp so you can appreciate within the endometrial cavity these two are the sessile polyp arising from the anterior wall and the posterior wall while two are the large and uh, round polyps these both are ecogenic polyp after injecting the fluid within the endometrial cavity you can appreciate all these four polyps so mostly uh, polyps are happens to be multiple as i mentioned in earlier uh, videos that uh, polyps are usually multiple seldom you can see single polyp and seldom you can see a polyp with a star which usually miss while during the curate procedure so therefore hysterosalpingography or hysteri uh, sonohysterography is very important uh, here you mentioned that the endometrial cavity was distended by the in, uh, injection of uh, saline uh, which outlined four polyps two were round and ecogenic and two were sessile in nature put the doppler uh, effects on if there is any vascularity mention the vascularity level if not so just straight away mention there was no vascularity on the doppler imaging uh, mention about the 
uh, myometrium that the myometriums appear normal otherwise uh, uterus if it is enlarged or, or bulky mention that the uterus was enlarged or bulky if not just straight away uh, jump to the conclusion that there is in uh, intra uh, cavitary uh, ecogenic lesion most likely polyps uh, this is transvaginal scan and uh, this transfer uh, vaginal scan beautifully explains the internal anatomical structure of the endometrium here internal os is clearly visible and external os is also clearly visible because of uh, injection of the saline so look there is a fluid inside the endometrial cavity a white arrow is indicating a small polyp while b where the b is mentioned b is indicating a balloon of the catheter because whenever you want to inject some fluid so you have to have the catheter inside the endometrial cavity and with this procedure you can inject the saline and at the same time while being this catheter inside you can scan and you can see all the abnormality uh, so therefore this balloon catheter is still in situ and uh, here on the verge of on the level of internal os you can see a small polyp so mention that endometrial cavity was distended by the fluid injected uh, saline through the catheter uh, catheter balloon is in situ endometrial cavity was distended a small polyp measuring whatever the measurement is seen at the level of internal os here small area can also be seen down where you can see the balloon and uh, external os can also be seen here so this uh, uh, slide beautifully explains both internal os and external os balloon catheter is visible at the level of uh, internal os you can appreciate a polyp and mention this uh, again do not forget to put the doppler signal on if vascularity is there mention the vascularity if not just straight away mention the polyp at the level of internal os this is transvaginal scan and this is again sonohysterography so sagittal image from sonohysterography in a 60 years old with post menopausal bleeding and an irregular polyp can be seen here uh, this study was followed by a negative endometrial biopsy biopsy was performed but it appears negative so after that uh, this illustration um, shown the importance of uh, imaging and also importance of histology you have to have the histology if you come across any abnormal lesion or any abnormal polyp so a biopsy under direct visualization was performed and uh, the polyp was removed on the his on the on the imaging you can appreciate that this polyp has no smooth wall no round wall there is irregular wall and uh, you can see the echogenicity is also altered so normally um, polyps are happens to be echogenic but its echogenicity is slightly reduced and uh, therefore it shows some suspicious uh, uh, presence there uh, you have to put the doppler imaging doppler uh, signals on it there must be some vascularity but as i mentioned uh, before this is a 60 years lady and she was in post menopausal status that's why it was very important and she had given us the history of bleeding as well uh, biopsy was done cure it was done and it was proved as cancer so therefore be careful whenever you bump into any abnormal or atypical lesion uh, you must explain this on your report then advise further imaging advise histopathology and uh, refer the patient to the gynae department on this transvaginal scan you can see a thick endometrium so normally it is visible like uh, it is thick endometrium but actually it is not these white arrows are indicating hyper equic thin line which indicates that this line is actually of a uh, polyp so this line is outlining the polyp outer area was endometrium and the inner part is actually polyp so sometime you may come across in this type of a um, case in this type of image and at that time you have to be very careful if there is some distinct lining or there is ill-defined margin or if there is any ambiguity in the proliferation of the endometrial thickening so you must think that there may be possibility of polyp so therefore in the differentials of thickened endometrium we usually give a polyp as an uh, differential as a common differential 
because you never know there may be some polyp which will be having an indistinct margin there will be ill-defined margin you won't be able to appreciate either on trans abdominal scan or trans vaginal scan so therefore in the differential must conclude that there is likely possibility of uh, endometrial polyp again uh, you should uh, mention about the vascularity as well and if there is vascularity mention this on the report as well Hi, yeah, this was all about the endometrial polyp and I'm sure they, uh, there will be no more difficulty for you to pick all these features on the ultrasound imaging and diagnose the polyp. You have already identified different position, different shapes of the uh, polyps on the ultrasound imaging and uh, what you have to write it, you have to mention whatever you have seen on the ultrasound imaging and in the conclusion give that your ultrasound features are suggestive of uh, polyp. If it is unclear and if it is clear so directly jump into the conclusion that these are uh, polyp po polypoid lesion or these are polyps so hope uh, uh, this video would be worth watching uh, keep watching my videos keep appreciating and keep sharing with the other in case of any query or question just uh, drop me a message i will get back to you with uh, next video we'll see each other till then take great care of yourself bye bye